So this is the arcade machine we're building, and it's got the two player sticks um, buttons, and they run off of one USB. So the problem we're having is when you're plugging it into the Pi, it's picking it up and reading it as one controller. So when you're trying to map keys to it, it this stick mimics this stick. So you can't map up for each individual player. Because as soon as you do, it associates both sticks as one. So this is the first method that we'd show you. So what we've got to do is edit the config file uh, that tells the Pi that it's one stick and change it to make it think there's two sticks. So we're just going to go into the Retro Pi menu and go to File Manager. So by default it will put you here, um, forward slash home, forward slash pi. What we need to get to is, oops, I'm going to go to the top one, and press enter, and then up again and enter. And then we want to go to boot, and then we want command line dot text. And you've got a little, um, associations with the keys down here. These are the F keys. Uh, so we want to press F4 to edit this. So we've got here different types of editor, if I can focus. Um, we're going to choose the easiest one because it's the easiest. Again, it tells you everything down here, um, what you can do with it. Um, so this is a line of code, we want to go to the end. So at the end we want to have a space after the previous entry. And then we want to enter usbhid.quirks equals 0x16c0 colon 0x05e1 colon 0x040 so the this part here 16co relates to one stick and this part 05e1 relates to the other stick and this line of code is basically telling it to see two sticks from the one USB input. And we're going to read down here what we've got. So each of these with the up arrow, uh, the up arrow relates to control on the keyboard. Um, so we're going to write out, we're going to hold down control and push O. And it asks you what you want to write it to. Obviously you want to write it over the existing one. So forward slash boot, forward slash command line, dot text, and enter right one line. And that's it, then we can do exit, which is control X. And we're back here. And then we can just press F10. And now we should be able to focus on this. We restart the system. So we're back after restarting. What we want to do is press the start button and go down to configure input. So it now says two gamepads detected off the one USB. So we're going to hold a button to configure it. D pad up. Brilliant. D pad down, left, right. Start, select. A, B, X, Y, left bottom, right bottom, left top, and then the rest we're going to skip. And that's pretty much it. Now you've got two game pairs detected 
under the one usb.